welcome to more banjo Tui. We are back in the Jinjo Village, and for good reason. I guess the most important reason is that when you load up a save file, this is where the game takes you. But we actually do need to be here for something. So the first thing I want to do is actually go inside the Jinjo houses so we can actually get their songs. And that's for a jukebox we're going to be getting a bit later. I've kind of been very vague about this jukebox, so I guess I should go ahead and explain it. Now, I am not a master on knowledge of the jukebox, but as far as I understand, later on in the game we will unlock the jukebox, and once we do, it'll have a bunch of songs. The songs that are on the jukebox are basically the songs that we've heard throughout the game. So if we've never heard a certain song, it won't show up. And certain songs are missable, for example, the music that plays when you're in a Jinjo house where the family is not completed. If we got all the Jinjos, we can't actually hear the song. So that's basically why I just came inside here. I guess we can actually go and get the Happy Jinjo song while we're at it as well, although this one is not missable because the families will stay completed. So there we got that as well. But we are not done with this area, we actually want to go back to Spiral Mountain for a couple of things. First off, we actually have enough pages to do another Cheeto, uh, cheat code, so we'll do that. But we also have that Talon Torpedo Boulder that we can now break with Kazooie, so let's hop down into the water and go do that. It's right over there, you can hardly see it, but... Well, let's just go torpedo right at that crowd, let's go! I think the thing that makes the Talon... oh my gosh, get it. That makes it so hard to control is, one, it turns very fast, but also the, uh, controls are inverted. But there I just got a blue Jinjo, two out of seven for that, not bad. Now let's also go do the Cheeto Crud. I guess we can do that. It's pretty much all we have left to do. Now that we've gotten that Talon Torpedo Boulder taken care of, the only thing that is left to do in Spiral Mountain is the Cheeto Pages. There's no reason for us to come back here anymore, so we're just about done with this area. In the future, if I ever need to return here for Cheeto, I'll probably just edit directly to Cheeto, so you guys don't have to watch me climb up everything every single time. But let's go turn in five more pages. We have seven right here. We could have had eight if I got the one from the from the last stage, which I, there was some confusion on that. I said I had all the Cheeto pages when I had two out of three. Um, during the outro, I caught myself and said that I actually was missing one and I mentioned where it was, but most people don't really watch the outros. So I, yeah, I, I know that I did miss one Cheeto page in the last stage and we'll go back to get that. And also, oh my gosh, in the last episode, man, sometimes when you're just recording stuff live, you just say really dumb things and you don't realize it. And I think what's worse than saying dumb things is that I watch these videos back while I edit, and to not catch me saying the dumb things and correct it via text or something makes it like double stupid. So basically, Tip Tup that we interacted with in the last stage, he is in the original Banjo-Kazooie. I have played that game so many times, I even did a 100% Let's Play of it. The fact that I forgot that he was in the original Banjo-Kazooie is kind of embarrassing. But let's hop into the silo, we're gonna go off to the Pine Grove actually, because it's finally time to head to the next area for the next stage. So we just want to hop out here. Now, we could go and do the stuff in Witchy World to get that, uh, to get the, the Fortune Smiles Upon You thing, but again, we'll do that later on once we're actually planning to go back to Jigawiggy's Temple. But let's go ahead and break this crud open. Kaboom! Now, you, you might have noticed I didn't actually go and enter the uh, Mayhem Temple cheat code yet. I'll do that at some point, and that one will give us uh, more eggs, so we can have lots of eggs, which is awesome, because... Well, I really haven't ran out of eggs ever, even with how much I've skipped stuff, but I don't know, I... Uh, oh, we'll get that cheat code anyways, because why not? But right up here, guys, we have a rematch with Klungo himself, or himself. That's probably how we would say it. It's the Sea King minion. Oh no, not you again. He is not looking so good. I'm not sure if that's from the beating we gave him or the beating that Grunty gave him after he failed at stopping us. I think he just said that, actually. So he's got a new potion to try. Let's see how this goes. Go ahead, do your potion, buddy. And he's gonna whip out a green potion. This one is going to make him invisible, it looks like. Now, apparently there's three potions that he can possibly use in this fight, similar to the first one. But I fought this guy like four times, and every single time it's always been invisibility. So I don't know if there are other potions. Um, if it is luck-based, there's one thing I've noticed, and I'm really not sure on the mechanics of this, but there's a lot of things that are kind of like random in this game. There's like luck-based, where things will appear in different areas. And I'm not sure if it's random every time you start a new file, or if it's based on the file you choose. Like, I, this, the file I'm playing right now is on file 3 at the game select screen. I'm not sure if it's based on if you choose file 1, 2, or 3, or if you if it's just random when you start that file. But for some reason, every time I fought this guy on file 3, it's always been the invisible potion, so 
I don't know. Maybe that, uh, maybe that effect is just decided when you first start your file, and the fact that I've just copied this file over multiple times is why that has happened, but... In any case, there's lots of confusing crud in this game, but it really doesn't matter that much, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I wish I could bring you guys all the details, but... Yeah, well, some things I just... You know, as much as I know a lot about this game, there's some stuff I just don't, you know? But let's go and read this, or go talk to Jam Jars. Get another move right here. This is the Clockwork Kazooie Eggs. Because four types of eggs were not enough, we got a fifth kind. And this one is kind of fancy. We only can hold ten. And if we actually use one, and we pick up an egg, it only gives us one. So these things are very precious. And for good reason, they're actually very, very awesome eggs. So let's go ahead and shoot one and I can show you guys what it does. It spawns a little kazooie. We can use the left stick to move around. Uh, the bomb detonator is... Uh, press X, we could explode basically. So we have 20 seconds to go around. Now the cool thing about this is you can pick up collectibles with it. You can kill enemies, all kinds of stuff. So a really cool one. Let's go ahead and restore that though. We can also pick up the silo for this area, why not? And I actually want to head over this way because there are some notes. As well as a ginger to get. The tricky part is that, well, one is a Minjo and one is a Jinjo. We have to decide which one is which. Now you could just go up and attack and it would be fine. Or you could just shoot an egg. At the uh, at them to see which one's which. That one on the right, that is the Minjo. So let's go get our Jinjo here. And we have three out of seven. Nice. So with that, we're actually about to head off into the next stage. You could go up this way, which is where there's an entrance to another stage. But we haven't unlocked that one yet. And it requires 45 Jiggies to unlock. So we can't actually do that right now. So let's just go into this stage right here. And let's go back to the time of the dinosaurs. This, my friends, is Pterodactyl Land. Not Pterodactyl, it's, it's Pterodactyl. So let's go ahead and grab that warp pad, and let's get started. I'm so glad to be back to the more straightforward stages. As much as I love Jolly Roger Lagoon, it can be a bit confusing at times, but this stage is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and hit this button right here. And that'll open up a little cage for that Jinjo. Come here, mister. I'm gonna wreck you, dino! Oh, get over here. Now, these dinos are pretty tough, man. They can take a couple of hits, but we got them. All right. I think I'm actually going to go over here, get some notes, and there should also be a jam jars, or, I don't know why I say should, like I'm unsure, like jam jars is just gonna be out for coffee or something, no, there will be a jam jars up here, let's go and, uh, let's go and get him, hey Mr. Jam Jars, how you doing, 390 notes, we need quite a lot for that, but we have still way more than enough, and this we will finally learn the springy step shoes, so we needed these way back in Glitter Gold's mind to get a jiggy, so, I think it was a Jiggy. It might have been a Jinjo. Pretty sure it's a Jiggy. Uh, we'll go back for that at some point, but not quite yet. So I'm actually not going to use those. I mean, I could, but uh, they're not here. So what I'm actually going to do is get that Jinjo. Now, I'm not entirely sure, uh, certain how they intend for you to get it, but this is how I'm going to get it. I'm going to stand directly on top of this little green spot where Jam Jars is, and I'm actually going to shoot a Clockwork Kazooie Egg over into that spot. Now, this is a pretty difficult shot, so i got to aim just right. But I found if I aim right about here, that usually works out pretty good. And there we are, we're inside! So our clockwork Kazooie landed right in the hole. We can pick up that Jinjo! Alright! So I'm, kind of, I'm kind of proud of myself for uh, getting that shot. But I found the spot. If you just aim where I aimed, it'll get it pretty much every time. Ow! Would you not get hurt on the way down? So now we're going to go inside this cave right here. And we're just going to go up this little ramp. Not really much to it. We're just caged off. We can see down there if we want to, but... Okay, maybe we can't. There's a gosh dang fence in my way. We can see down here, but just some water and stuff. Nothing to wor really worry about. What I do want to worry about is getting up on this bridge right here. We have this guy, and if you see, he has some very heavy armor. We can't actually hurt him. Not even with grenade eggs. You never get jiggy from Rock Nuts Tribe. We got big, tough armor. So, the way we deal with these guys is we use a Clockwork Kazooie. Let's shoot it right over the top of him. And with this, we can actually get behind him. And speaking of behinds, his behind is completely exposed. They have no armor on the back. So we can just explode on the back. There we go. Found a gap in that armor. Uh, do I need the health? Actually, I do, because I kind of fell that one time. Let's grab that. And let's actually go down here. I guess I could have got health right there as well. But let's go grab some notes. Got 15 notes to grab. Just got to watch out for Mr. Dinosaur. Leave me alone, dude. Right, so let's go inside the water. We have another thing to do with Kazooie's uh, Talon Torpedo. There's all kinds of things you have to do with this. You gotta open up gates, you gotta uh, hit boulders. We also gotta hit switches sometimes, for some reason. Oh, yo, another blue Jinjo, so we've got three already. Wait, haven't we got... I think we got two blue Jinjos. Is this the third blue Jinjo in a row? 
Maybe I'm mistaken, but I think we just got three in a row. That's kind of awesome. And uh, right up here. Now, this right here, you could do a crazy jump to get inside there. I'm actually going to use the Clockwork Kazooie once again. And the way I like to aim this, just to make it consistent, I stand right on top of the egg right here. And what I do is I don't aim up or down at all. I just kind of let it sit. And we just aim directly over it. So we shoot. And okay, in that case, it missed. I aimed a little bit too far to the left. Let's try that one again. Let's try aiming right about there. And, well, I'm terrible. That's just, wow. Okay, maybe I do want to aim down just a little bit, actually. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, so ignore what I said about not aiming down. I would aim down just a little bit, and it works. So, missed it twice. Wasted two of my precious Clockwork Kazooie eggs, but oh well. Let's go back over here, because it's time to go up this vine. Rebine! I really wish there was a faster way to climb, but pretty much just have to go with it. This is a very, very tall vine. My goodness gracious. Yep, all the way up there. We're behind a waterfall, though. That's cool. No, we're not done climbing. we got to keep going. All the way to the top, the river passage. Let's go explore. Wow, they're just giving me health all over the place. Are they trying to pick on me and say that I get hurt all the time? Maybe. Now, this one we don't have to use the Clockwork Kazooie for. We can actually just go Talon Trot, so that's convenient. We're up to 11 honeycomb pieces. Holy bejeebers. Let's go ahead and continue down here. We'll go back to Honeybee to get the health upgrades at some point, but feeling kind of lazy right now. I probably could have gone and done that. I don't know. I, I, I say that I'm lazy, but some people get annoyed when you're lazy. I, I'm not actually doing it, not doing it because I'm lazy. I'm not doing it because it's just, I don't really need the health right now, and it's more efficient to do it later when we can get a couple health grades, upgrades instead of just going for one. So that's why. If you hear me say that I'm not doing something because I'm lazy, it's probably me just joking around, and the true reason is that it's probably just less efficient, or perhaps even unnecessary. Although sometimes I am just genuinely lazy, but I try not to let that get into the walkthroughs. Like, walkthroughs are one time where I'll, I'll try to go out of my way to do stuff that's efficient, but... If I'm just playing stuff casually, that's different. But let's just go inside here. Uh, ooh. Well, that guy... Let me tell you, when I was doing a practice file for this, this guy knocked me off the edge right here and completely killed me. So let me try to actually kill him before he gets to me. Let's just shoot that grenade egg right at him. And we got him! All right. I could go into the center there and get a Clockwork Kazooie egg, but we still have, I think, six. So I'm doing all right. Let's just go across, and we're going to shoot a Clockwork Kazooie right here, actually. I only have five left. Dang. But let's go use that. We're going to go through this little tunnel here. And let's go. And kill this guy. So there's going to be several of these guys we have to kill. We have two down so far, which is not too shabby. But actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the Clockwork Kazooie egg if I can. Get up in time. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Well, I got some blue eggs instead. Gosh dang it. Oh, well. I guess just how, that's just how things go sometimes. But we're going to actually go up this way now. And I think what I want to look for is a Globo. So let's see if we can hear one. Hooray! We didn't hear it, actually, but it's right here. It's very obvious. So let's get that. Uh, you know what? Let's go this way. There is a little tunnel right here, but I don't want to go down there right now. I just want to go this way. And we want to go inside this cave here. Now this is a bit of an interesting area. This one right here. This guy will let us go past if we don't wear springy shoes. Which is awesome. I don't, I don't know why he likes us without springy shoes. But to our left is actually a pair of springy shoes. And if we get those, he won't let us pass. So we're just going to have to go past on our own. If we go through here, we can actually hit this switch. And that will open up a gate. And if we go through, we find we're actually back inside the Mayhem Temple area. Or rather, we're in the Pterodactyland area. But we went to here during our Mayhem Temple portion of the playthrough. So let's go out actually through here. We can go back to Mayhem Temple itself. And what I want to do in here is finally go to the, uh, whatchamacallit. I want to go to the Mayhem Temple, or tch, the, the Cheat Code Temple, since we're in the area anyway. So let's go into that cheat we just got from Cheeto earlier in the episode. And here we are. Let's go ahead and enter that cheat code, which was simply eggs. So, there we go. The eggs cheat will double the maximum number of eggs that you can carry. This is awesome, because now we have... Uh, well, I guess it's the maximum you can carry, not the maximum I currently have. Oh, wait, I didn't even turn the cheat on yet. Hold on, let me let me try actually turning the cheat code on. I'm not sure if it's going to restore my eggs. Probably not. But let's go turn that on. 
keep in my homing that she could on. Don't even judge. There we go. So it does restore everything. We have 200 regular eggs, 100 fire, 50 grenade, 100 ice, and 20 of those precious clockwork kazooies. So now we're doing pretty good. Let me meet you guys back inside that cave. Here we are back in Ungabunga's cave, and let's grab them springy shoes. Now we can go back outside using these. Because he won't let us go through the cave. I can I can see why they wouldn't let you do that, considering you take them to Mayhem, uh, Mayhem Temple and break things. But, yeah, well, let's just go up here. Path to Nest. I guess we'll use our springy shoes to bounce way the heck up there. But this guy right here is not going to be very happy about that. He thinks we're going to try to steal their eggs. I guess we kind of do shoot a lot of eggs everywhere. So that's probably not too long of a stretch. But, uh... Well, we're just going to run up the mountain. As long as we keep moving, we should be fine. If you stop to, like, try to wait and pick up a certain type of egg, that crud's going to hit you, and it's probably going to knock you off the mountain. So I would recommend not stopping for those items. Just keep running up, and eventually you'll get the warp pad, which is pretty exciting. So let's get that. And you know what? I'm actually going to keep going up the mountain here, because I want to take some eggs to the dino guy, I guess. Sometimes I just... Start on these rants or tangents and stuff, and I don't know where I'm going with them. But right here! Give me back my eggs, you filthy light-fingered bear! Uh, what... what eggs are those? Don't play the fool with me, I want my eggs back, or else... Is he talking about the fire eggs? I... I really don't know. Maybe so, but not before you two. So, here we have the boss battle with Terry himself! Yes, that is why the stage is called Terry Dactyland and not Pterodactyl Land. So, Terry the Pterodactyl is going to shoot some crap at us. We just got to try our best to dodge that. Just not as easy as it might sound. After a while, the camera is going to shift and we can move over to shooting grenades at him. Now, this boss is quite a lot easier than some bosses we've fought before, as long as I can actually find him. There he is. Let's just start hammering away with all of these grenade eggs. There we go. He's down to 18 HP already. And what he's going to do is after we shoot him a bunch, he's going to start spawning a bunch of these slime guys. Or he, as he calls them, mucoids. Pretty easy to deal with. Ba very basic enemies. We just got to do some jump attacks, do some rolls, whatever you like. Boom! The Briegel Bash really even gives us some HP. Right on. Yeah, this boss, as you could probably see, is way easier than a couple of bosses we fought in the past couple of stages. Although he does lead his shots a little bit. So you want to kind of like go forward and then once he shoots, turn back around. So I'm kind of terrible at that sometimes. Let's go back to our grenade egg here. Let's see if we can actually find him. Where are you at, buddy? Really good at aiming exactly where he is, into, aren't I? And come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. He's down to 2 HP. I don't think there's any way to kill him right away right there. You got to wait for him to get down to 2, and then we can go and uh, deal with all these mucoids again. Then we hit him once more. Not too big of a deal, though. Let's just roll into these guys. The roll is probably my favorite attack just because it's really safe. Um, I also like the jump beak. The Briegel Bash, which is this crud. Oh, which is this crud. I'm not the biggest fan of. It does have a big attack area, so it can kill multiple guys at once like that. The problem is after you use it, you're kind of stuck in place for a few seconds. So it's very easy to... Uh, it's very easy to just accidentally get hit. Oh, gosh. He's leading my shots, and I'm running... Or leading his shots, and I'm running right into them. So like I said, I'm not the best at running away from, from him when he leads his shots like that. Wow, I actually aimed right at him this time. Boom, we got him. Take that. Stop it. I've had enough. All right. Are you going to give us something good for that? Come on, Terry. Oh, what are you doing? Enough of the snot monsters, dude. Dude. Okay. I thought he was going to give me a, a ball of snot or something. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh, dear. Sorry about that. Wow. He believed us very easily. He was so passionate about that that he was about to kill us. And we're just like, we don't have them. And now he believes us. We're actually going to be completely nice, and we're going to look for his eggs and try to help out, though. Or her eggs. I guess Terry's kind of a unisex name. It really, you know, could be the way. He's going to give me half the reward now and half later. So we're going to get half... No, actually, we're going to get a full Jiggy, which means that is going to be a good reward. Not half a Jiggy. And he's also going to spawn a uh, little, little flight pad. Uh, a little flight pad right there. And the eggs have color in them suddenly. Wow. Some uh, some speckles. A little uh, blue and orange. I like that. It's a good color palette. Oh, that guy's not doing so well, is he? Well, they're just showing us where some of the eggs are here. That is a big egg. Gosh dang. Well, let's go ahead and grab our Jiggy, but we're going to do a bit more than that. We're actually going to break right here. 
And let's go down inside the nest because we can get a second Jiggy. Oh my goodness. Wow, two Jiggies. And with that, guys, we are actually going to call things a day. We got quite a lot of this stage done. We even fought a boss. So I will see you guys next time. Take care.